Hello, welcome to Grow New Plants. So today I'm going to do a video on collecting and storing bald cypress seeds. This is the big bald cypress tree that is, it's actually at the side of my house, but it kind of hangs over my backyard where the nursery is. You've probably seen it in the background in some of my videos. And it's loaded up with cones and they're all ripe. You see how they're starting to crack open? I'll show you a close up of them in a second. But this video is just going to be about collecting the seeds and storing the seeds through the winter to hopefully get some to germinate. And then in the spring, hopefully I'll have a follow up video of some of these trees actually growing and coming up. So uh, I'm gonna get up, get a couple of these down and we'll take a look at them. And then I'm gonna collect a bunch of seeds and I'll show you what I do to get them ready for storage over the winter. Okay, so here's some of these seeds. Now pulled out and you see the reason I have gloves. And once, once they're dry like this and they're ready, they just fall apart. And if you look in here, that's actually a seed. I dropped it. That's actually one of the seeds right there that come out inside these cones. So I don't know how many seeds are in one of these cones, but there's quite a few. And you just take them and kind of crumble them up a little bit. And you see the seeds just start falling out. See, there's a couple of the seeds there. And they'll separate pretty easily once they're ripe. Just kind of roll them around. And you see the reason the reason that I wear gloves is this stuff is super sticky. It's like an oil or a resin that comes out on these seeds. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna collect as many of these seeds as I can get. Okay, and that was just one trip up the ladder. And this is all the seeds that I got. And of course, I need to separate some of these leaves and stuff out. So what I'm gonna do, and I, and I wanted to talk about these for just a second while I'll kind of pick through these as I'm talking about them. I have done tons of research. I tried growing these before and I didn't have much success. And I did a ton of research on them. And I found everything from basically do nothing to them, just plant them in the spring to doing chemical treatments, to soaking them in ethyl alcohol, to soaking them in a jar of water all winter, a, a, a wide array of different methods of how to get these things to germinate. And uh, y'all heard me talk about the root maker products and all that, and Dr. Carl Whitcomb, he's the guy that came up with those products. He's the one that came up with the, the Witt series crepe myrtles and a bunch of other trees that he's hybridized. And as far as I'm concerned, he is probably my go-to guy as far as what his opinion is. I trust more than anyone else in the industry as far as growing trees. The guy is an absolute genius as far as I'm concerned. And I sent him an email. I've had some discussions with him before. I've been to one of his field days out at his farm where he kind of shows you, you know, his methods of how he grows trees and the root maker products and all that kind of stuff. And I sent him an email and he was nice enough to answer me back. And what he does is he takes them, he pulls them off the tree like we just did. He breaks them apart like we're doing right now. And he just lays them out and lets them dry for a couple days. And the reason for letting them dry is it lets this oil that's all over them, this sticky stuff you see all over my gloves, lets some of that oil dry off. And then he puts them in a jar and he says a jar because to keep mice from getting in them. And basically you store them in your shop or store them in your garage in a you know a cool place over the winter and then in the spring he plants the seeds in the dirt he doesn't soak them he doesn't treat them he doesn't some people will say you go in like that the, the coats are so hard on these seeds that's one of the seeds right there 
that you come in and you take a grinder or a file and nick them to get down into the embryo he doesn't do any of that and i know he's grown tons of them i've seen pictures i've seen some of the trees myself in person when i went up there so i know what he i know he knows what he's talking about so that's basically what i'm going to do so i'm going to take these and i'm going to let them sit out i'll spread them out on a on a uh, cookie sheet or something like that and just let them dry for a couple days and then we'll come back and we'll separate the seeds out and we'll store them okay so i took these seeds and i spread them out onto these trays and they've been sitting for probably three days now and they're still sticky and gooey but they come out okay they're not too bad and i think that's just one of the things you have to do with these things so basically all i got to do is just pull these seeds out and this is really the hard part with these i just break these seeds out off the shell and sometimes they come out two little seeds together like that and i'm just taking them and putting them in a dish and then I will uh, come back and I'm going to store them in a jar. I'm going to try a couple different things. I'm going to store some of them in a jar in the garage. So they'll be just at whatever the natural temperatures are outside. Some of these seeds are broken loose. Some of them I got to peel loose. So I'm going to put some of them in a jar in the garage. And the reason for a jar as opposed to a bag or something is just that way if there's any mice or anything like that they won't try and get the seeds they can't get them out of a jar so i'm going to take some of them and i'm going to go ahead and store them in the refrigerator and the only reason is is i know they, they got to be cold stratified and if we have an abnormally warm winter and the variation in the temperatures to the seeds which probably will be fine because that's what they do in nature you know they they're sitting outside in the winter time there are some of them are you know they're getting warm temperatures some days and cold temperatures some days so i'm gonna just go ahead and put a few in the refrigerator in a baggie and then i'm gonna leave some in the garage in a jar but i'm not gonna soak them i'm not gonna put any moisture in with them I'm just gonna let them sit the way that they are so i get asked on some of my videos about if I sell seeds and I haven't in the past but I've got so many of these and they're they're good seeds I know it's a good tree because I've I've had some trees come up on their own around this tree so I know these I know this tree makes good viable seeds so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and post some of these on eBay actually I just made the posting today so I'll put a link down in the description if you're wanting to try some of these seeds in the spring uh, you can buy them off my eBay site and I'm gonna sell them for I kind of looked on there and the, the problem with them is it's gonna cost me four dollars if you can believe that to ship the stupid thing so I was gonna sell them 50 seeds for uh, $9.99 and that includes the shipping so and I'll only ship them to the United States I'm sorry if you're outside of the United States I'm not gonna mess with international shipping on seeds so uh but i'll i'll sell these seeds and basically i'll go ahead and show you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make you watch me peel all of these seeds out of here this is gonna be a lot of work to get them all out but i'll just sit down and peel them out now they are still sticky so you want to wear gloves some of those come out like that then it's two separate seeds so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take them i've just got an old mason jar and so I'll take these seeds and I'll put them in this jar and I'll seal it up and I'm going to leave them sitting out in the garage like that all winter. And if you, if you order any of the seeds, they're going to be stored, they're going to be cold stored like this in the garage. And then if you, uh, if you purchase some, I'll pull 50 seeds out, I'll ship them to you. And then whenever you get them, do the same thing. Just take them and put them in a jar in your garage or put them in a bag and put them in the refrigerator and let them sit until spring. Once the spring temperatures start warming up, then take them and plant them in a good good uh, soil mix. You know, mine is usually it's, uh, peat moss and perlite is what I start them with, 50-50, and then with some good uh, slow-release fertilizer, 
you watch any of my videos, and I'll have another video of planting these things in the spring, but uh, that may or may not be out in time for you to plant yours. So you just watch some of my other videos from last year, how I plant my seeds. It's going to be the same method. So anyway, so I know this video ended up being kind of long for something with no results, but it's kind of a cool deal. And I just wanted to kind of show you how to collect these things. And hopefully I'll have some good success with them in the spring. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share my videos. Thank you.